So you want to animate on YouTube? You've come to the right place, I think. I created a show called Colpum Land, and I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step process on how I created my series. Step 1. What's your series about? Make sure you write your show's logline in 25 words or less. Colpum Land. A monk creates a tropical utopia that attracts crime, corruption, and crooks. Keep it simple. If you can't describe your show to your grandma, then you don't know what your show is about. Step 2. Design characters. I use basic shapes to construct my characters. Let's look at Cordo. Triangle, circle, square. Simple. Play around with these shapes. Focus on silhouette. Next stage, colors. Use rule of three, light, medium, dark. Cordo is a monk parakeet. They are green. What complements green? Red. I use gold to suggest high status and wealth. Add some details, Cordo is tired. So I added bags underneath his eyes. He's too old for this shit. He's a priest, so I added some tribal face paint. Always rework the silhouette. You can tell he's a bird. Here's a dragon. Here's a frog. Here's a troll. So we have our characters. We'll need them for our next stage. The script. Drama is conflict. Conflict is what drives the story. Why do characters fight? They believe in different things. Each character in Copeland uses these three points. Belief, motive, and goals. Cordo. He believes that others are too emotional and need more discipline. His goals? To create a utopia that focuses on rules, control, and order. Motive. He created Copeland as a safe haven for beasts and mythical creatures. He lost his home due to other people's insecurities and impulsive behavior. The script uses South Park's but therefore in order to write the story. Cordo wants water. Therefore, he goes to the kitchen. But the plumbing is out. Therefore, he goes to the shops. But he forgot his wallet. Therefore, he asks someone to borrow money. But they won't lend him money. Therefore, pretty easy, right? This keeps the story concise and to the point. The story should tap into our survival instincts. Hunger, safety, shelter, family. Look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs for help. Once you have the script, it's time to record. I use Audacity and a Blue Yeti microphone. Be aware that where you record has reverb and can affect the quality. Try making a fort out of sofa cushions. That's what I do. If not, try this. An IKEA box with foam inside and a pop filter. This will help with the quality. Press record. The sweet spot should be in between 24 and 12. No more. I voice act for 14 different characters. My normal voice? This is Marvin. He will be taking our applicant test. My silly voice. Home sweet home. Ma, I'm in love. We're gonna get married. Oh my god, bitch, I love your hair. Here I do say, state your business, Featherpecker. And my older voices. Nah, ain't good enough. Stop being so happy all the time. It's well annoying. Want to sound deep and scary? Change the pitch. Need to sound like a child? Change the speed. Select an area with no dialogue. Go to effects. Noise reduction. Do it again, but select the whole file. Effects, noise reduction, press OK. Next, you'll need a program called Levelator. This will balance the audio for you. It's for free too. 90% of Colpum Land is planning. The storyboard is important to plan out the episodes. Rule of thumb, treat it like a comic panel with no words. If there's a line of dialogue that you're struggling to draw for, simply cut it out. The Simpsons writers say, write for the characters, not for the joke. The next stage, animate. I use Adobe Character Animator, a software that uses motion tracking technology to help make the characters move. I still do frame by frame animations, however. This is how I do it. Keyframes first, start to finish poses, then add frames in between the two. Then repeat this process to make sure that the movement is consistent. Play around with overlaying and fluid motions. Start off with basic gestures. I follow Family Guy's method. You, I, this, annoyed, and shocked. Eyebrows help a lot too. Angry, shocked, upset. What PC do I use? I used to have a Mac Mini at the beginning until it broke. Since then, I've upgraded. I use a Dell Alienware Aurora R8 gaming PC. It cost me three and a half grand. But don't worry, any animation software is good. Just do the work, stop finding excuses. After I've done animating on Character Animator, I export it as a PNG sequence and place them into my next program, Blender 3D. Blender recently released a real-time rendering engine called Eevee. I can place my 2D characters inside environments. They interact with the lighting, cast shadows, and blend well with the environments. Each location I make follows a color scheme. Red is judgment. Green is friendly. Gold is greed. Yellow is poor. The world should reflect the characters and fortify the story. The slums are overcrowded and don't look really clean. The pub is dark, but cozy. Notice how Grotto pops out with his blue skin and orange shirt. Then I export the scenes, following the storyboards. 
Each clip should be around 2.5 to 3 seconds. Otherwise, otherwise you, otherwise you'll lose the audience attention. Just go away. The first 15 seconds are important. The audience should know who the main characters are, where they are, and what they need. The location should change every minute or so. It takes me a week to 10 days to make a Copeland episode that is 46 minutes, depending on what is needed. I export using these settings. This is my process on how I create my animated series Copeland. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out the main channel to see the final results.